Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Hi, very good. All right. So, do you have do you have vacation on Christmas or December is normal for you? It's normal for me. It's normal? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Only, you, only mm -hmm. day um, 25 and 31. <laughs> <laughs> only, yes. Uh -huh. 20, 25? Uh -huh. No, 25. Yes. 25 and 26 and, and 31. Yes. What about you, uh, Miguel? For you, it's good this month, no? Yes, it's very hard in my work, but but, but um, I I take uh, a week in the, the the last month, the last week in the moon. Oh, okay. Listen, is you work for a company or is your company? It's my company. Okay, so you do events? Yes, in uh, malls. Um, and what, but what do you do? You put sound and pictures, record? Sound, lights, uh, uh, let it scream. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, good. Oh, nice. Okay. What about you, Giovanni? How is this month for you? Hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, today, uh, it was very busy. No, we're, talk we're talking about December. How is December for you? Good or bad? Uh, good. So, but good. Because I will be in vacation. Oh, okay. For Gerardo, I know it's good because you work in the government. <laughs> Congratulations, Gustavo. How many days of vacation, uh, Gustavo? Uh oh, uh oh, Gustavo, Android, Android. <laughs> yeah, Android, Android, Android. What is that? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, it finished. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, good. I thought I thought that I lost you. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's do a quick review of everything. Let me see. Let me open Word. Okay, good. We're here. Okay, so where are you? There you go. Hello, Alba. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. 
Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. Good. How is everything? It's fine. I have just arrived at home from job. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you work? I I work in Acacu de RL. It's a financial cooperativa. Oh, okay. In San Miguel. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, it's always at the end of the month we 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 leave late. I bet. I imagine. The end of it's, it's like the banks. The end of the month is is the most difficult. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Well, welcome. Okay. Listen. In in this module in this month, we did with you. Correct. Yes. Let me see. Hold on. Let me share my screen with you. So, what would you, what is next? After what with you, what is next? Mine. Mm, not grammatically in, in the reglas, what's next? Oh. Would you do? <laughs> the what verb? with you, a verb, yes. If, okay. So, Yeah. What would you remember? Would que hace would en un verbo en español? Ia, yeah. remember? Ia, yeah, yes. Entonces si yo digo, what would you buy? ¿Qué dije? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. What would you buy if you have one million dollars? Correct? We have where? Where, what would you, the verb and the, and the complement. We have what would you, where would you. Okay, so let's do one thing. Giovanni. Please, Hi. please <clears throat> ask somebody where or what would you, a verb and then if, the if clause. Uh, what would you uh, to who? Excuse me. Who ask ask who? Miguel, ask Daniel, oh, ask okay. Gustavo. Okay, Daniel. Okay. What would what would you be if you change a uh, change work? ¿Qué haría para cambiar mi trabajo? Sí. No. Okay. What would you... No, eh, él le preguntó, que, le preguntó, ¿qué sería si cambia de trabajo? Yes. No, pero esa no era su idea, Giovanni, pero eso le preguntó. ¿O qué le quería preguntar? Eso, justamente eso. O lo voy a cambiar. Eso le quiso preguntar, ¿qué sería sí. si se cambia de trabajo? Sí, yes. 
Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Dan? Okay. Um, um, if, if good is good, I change the word. Um, what is Seria? Uh, what is what is Seria? I would. I would be. Ah, okay. Uh, is I would. Be... Disculpe, disculpe, um, Dan. Me está diciendo is o if. 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 Okay, if, if, if okay. Mm -hmm. If. Okay. I, I, if I go. No, mm, if I change jobs. Change job, be. Happy. I will be happy. Why? Sí, pero es que le preguntó qué sería si se cambia de trabajo. Realmente yo tampoco no entiendo muy bien esa pregunta. O sea, ¿sería un doctor si me cambio de trabajo? ¿Sería un policía? Eh, Giovanni, ¿eso es? Yes, what do you okay. do for live? Ok, like, like uh, I am an engineer, I am a doctor. Yes. Ok. And what would you be if you change that work? Ok, good, if you change work, ok. I would be a stripper. <laughs> okay, no, okay. So, so um, what profession would you be, Daniel? What? Um, Giovanni, his objective is profession. Yes. What do you do for live? What do you look for live? Yes. I I I live. I live is 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 okay. Entonces me está diciendo is no if is. Mm. There's a big difference if and is. Remember, el primer día le dije todos están los labios is. And if Daniel, eh, la, pre la pregunta es: Why do you leave? Why do you no, no, ¿qué sería si se cambia de trabajo? ¿Sería un doctor? ¿Sería un ingeniero? Es lo que quiere saber. What would you be? Uh, is if is be. If Please. I, okay, listen, please. If I change jobs. Is I change jobs? Daniel, job? is or if? If. Okay, if, good, if. If. Is I change? If. If. Okay, then, uh, then I am asked, oh, please. If. Very good, yes. Okay. If I change jobs, jobs is I would be I would be an engineer. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. Good job, Dan. So look, vio que fácil arreglamos su problema. If uh, is if, yeah if. if very good. Okay, Daniel, your turn. Attack somebody except Giovanni. Giovanni. Uh, no, except Giovanni. Ah, okay. Mm, okay. Um, Alba. Alba, okay. will, 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 will you?
Hermana. Sí, mi amor. ¿Entra a ser bien? If working in. Ok, Dan, Dan, no more work. Ah, ok. A different question. Quedémonos con solo con what. So, okay. Alba, what would you if? What would you? I need a verb. A verb. Ah, okay. Um, Alba, what would you um, live? 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 In San Salvador. Is San Salvador. If San Salvador. Ok, Dan, le preguntó Alba, ¿dónde viviría si en San Salvador? Quise preguntarle qué haría si viviera en San Salvador. ¿Qué sería Very si good. Es... Ok, good. Me gusta que tiene la idea. Entonces, ¿qué haría? Entonces, ¿cuál sería el verbo? Do. Do. Okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué lo hace haría? Would. Ok, so... What would you do if you lived in San Salvador? Repeat. What, what would you? What would you do? Me? Listen, what would you do? What, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Is live if you San live if you live in San Salvador. Alba. Good. Okay. Um, if I live in San Salvador, I would visit some of my some of my best friends from high school. All right. Good. Oh yes, because you are the you lived in in Ilopango. Yes. All right. Good. All right. Very good. Thank you, Alba. Your turn. Thank you, Dan. Okay, let me see. Um, Melissa, are you there? Yes. Okay, hi, Melissa. Hi, Alba. Let me see. Um, where would you go if you win? The lottery, lottery, lottery. How do you say this? The lottery. The lottery. If I win the lottery, I will go to Greece. To Greece. 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 Oh, good. Yes. Very good. Why? Why Greece? Because I think it's a interesting yes. place. The architecture. Oh, 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 please. The architecture. Yes. Okay. And I, I want to go someday. <laughs> and would you go with your family, with your boyfriend and your son? Yes. All right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Your turn. Ask me, please. Uh. What would you say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, don't ask me. Ask ask somebody except Giovanni and Daniel and Alba. Okay. Um, Gustavo. Hello. Uh, what would you change if you go back five years or ten years mm -hmm. in your life? Uh, Come back. Go back. Go back. Uh, 
Um, oh, no. Nothing. My life is perfect. <laughs> if mm -hmm. I back 10 years to the past, I will buy a lot of buy a lot of Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> I always have that uh, regret because in 2012, uh, we made of, of the career and investigate something about cryptos. And we could buy it, but we didn't. It was at $22.23 a Bitcoin. Oh my God. Really? One Bitcoin yeah. was $22. Yeah. And now? Uh, around around 60,000. 60,000, maybe. Yes. I don't think. Oh my God, that hurt. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's a big regret in my life. <laughs> wow, you know, you can start now. Yeah, but <laughs> I can buy it, uh, a Bitcoin complete. Yeah. All right, very good. Oh, man, this, that's a, that was a very good point, Gustavo. Okay, good. Good answer. Good question, too, Melissa. Thank you. Yeah. All right, um, Gustavo, your turn. Mm, let me say, um, who is available? Uh, Miguel, it's available. I think we only have Miguel. Uh, Miguel and oh no, we have Iris and Evelyn too. Okay. How do you say? Oh yeah, yeah. We have you have Iris and and, and Evelyn. Okay. Mm. Eh, some of your power, Evelyn. Yeah. No. Hi, Gustavo. No. Uh oh, Evelyn, you, you sound like an android, like a helicopter. Now? Now, you, now you're good. Eh, now you're bad. Now you're good. Um, Gustavo, say San Miguel Pride. Pride. Evelyn, Pride. You're, you are in a helicopter, Evelyn. Uh, uh. Maybe move move the, um, what was it, Daniel? Daniel needs to, to give me another advice. Yeah. This is not working. <laughs> Daniel, what is the problem? Probably. We... Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Yes, but we hear a helicopter. Yeah, I think Evelyn has bad connection today. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Ask Iris or Carmen. Uh... Carmen says uh, it's only listen. Oh, oh yes. Let's... Okay, Miguel. Okay. Uh... Uh, I'm sorry, I, Carmen. I hope you feel better. Um, where will you travel if you have the chance? to bad in Africa. If I... If I would visit Africa, um, I like uh, visit Sudáfrica. 
in Egypt. Egypt would be nice. All right. I have a question for everybody now. Let me see. Alba. Alba, you yeah. there? Yeah. What, what would you ask God if you only have one question? <laughs> My God. <clears throat> I, I, <laughs> I could ask God if I had the chance, I, I could ask, ask, ask him uh, why <laughs> I'm poor, <laughs> why he doesn't, why he didn't make me rich. <laughs> I'm joking. No. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe why did he take my grandmother to to early? Okay, good. Okay. I would ask him, hey, what happened in the Holocaust? Were you watching? <laughs> Do you understand my question, class? What would you ask God if you only have one question? Yeah, what's up in with the Holocaust? Yeah, hey, what's up with the Holocaust? What happened to the people in the Holocaust? Why didn't you help? All right, good. All right, uh, let me see, Evelyn. Evelyn, if you have one baby, a, a son, what would you name him? Maybe I will name him Fernando. Fernando, all right. Why, is your boyfriend, is his name Fernando? Yes, but I always like that name. Oh, okay. No, you're not in a helicopter. You are in a train. I'm having to try He's under a Mustang. That, that's a Mustang. Yeah, it's a Mustang. She's in a Harley Davidson. My, yeah. my internet is not up. No, I don't. Okay, okay. But I don't think it's your internet. I think it's is a static ah. Ah. I don't think it's the internet I think it's something is it a laptop or or maybe maybe, may, maybe your cell phone is closed is um como se llama eso statica no yeah static right hay que preguntarle si está usando cable o o laptop I think a laptop. I think she's using a laptop. Oh, okay. Okay. Miguel. Hi. Who, what famous person would you like to meet if you have one opportunity? If I have an opportunity to meet a personality, uh, I prefer um, Steve Jobs. He's dead. Yes. I, um, me gustaría, I like. No, entonces ahí sería, me hubiera gustado. Okay. I would have liked. Um, no, okay, but what about somebody today in present time? Um, um. Um, 
for me, no es important. Eh, conocer. To meet. Meet uh, uh, a person a specific. Really? You would like to meet, for example, Quentin Tarantino? No. Or, no, not necessarily a famous person, a politician like Vladimir Putin would be very interesting to meet. Um, oh. Maduro would be very interesting to meet. Donald Trump would be fascinating to meet. Maybe, you know? maybe uh, um, Nicole Kidman, Harry Berry. Harry Berry, oh man. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, good. Giovanni Garcia, hi. Hi, teacher. Are you married? Yes, I am married. If you can go back in time, would you marry your wife again? Yes. If I think yes. I think yes. <laughs> is she next to you? No. No. Okay. She is in Liverpool. Okay, good. Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Hi. Hi, if you can meet one famous person from El Salvador, who would you like to meet? I like to meet Nayib Bukele. <laughs> not really, not really. You would like to meet Nayib Bukele? No, no, not really. Um, I would like to meet Nayib Bukele. He's a, he's a very interesting person. He's very smart. Pero también Lorena Peña is very smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is. She's a muppet. <laughs> no, but but she's she's I don't know, but out of so FML. Oh man. No. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I think from FMLN, she ella puede sostener un discurso, creo. <laughs> o sea, bueno o malo, but she can. She's the only one, I think. Because the rest of the people are very stupid. Hmm. And I don't like Lorena Peña, but she's very interesting. Hey. No, interesting. No, of course. I didn't say, I didn't say, yeah. Um, Bukele is a very interesting person. Let me see who else. Um, well, well, you know, my favorite, my favorite person in history is Hitler. In the past, I would love to have met Hitler. Why? Because, I mean, he was a terrible person. He was a terrible person. Pero su personaje, his character in the world, in the history, it's incredible. It's incredible how one person tan mala causó a el mundo. Imagine a good Hitler. Imagínense un Hitler, pero en forma buena. Wow. Imposible. Yeah, but, uh, but isn't, isn't bad not for all? Who, Hitler? Yeah. He well, there are a lot of followers. Yes, there are some stupid people that, that follow him, pero. But yeah. Mm, yeah, it's. Maybe it could be stupid, but has some uh, reasons, solid, solid reason. Yes. No, but, but you know who's really stupid? Aquí hay un movimiento de, de seguidores de Hitler. Really? <laughs> yes. Um, hay unos skaters. Look, look, look where, the, donde ven insignias de, de patin, de no, no sé qué, cómo se llama ese grupo de, de los que patinan, que de anarquía y todo, y tienen símbolos de nazis. Skateboard. Now, that's really, really stupid because... <laughs> yeah, they, they don't know, really. No, yeah, and it's impossible. O sea, Hitler te hubiera matado, viejo, whatever. O sea, yeah, solo había un requisito para ser nazi, yeah. you know. Pero... <laughs> 
So that that's really stupid, but stupid people. But Hitler was a very, very good um in history. Hitler was interesting. Napoleon Bonaparte was interesting. Alexander. But today, today, I would like to meet in El Salvador, a politician, maybe Bukele. In the United States, maybe um, Trump. Trump was interesting. Barack Obama was interesting. All right. Let me see now. Iris Mulato, are you there? Yes. Iris, if you have one opportunity to meet a famous actor, which actor would you like to meet? Mm, I like to meet um, um, Liminho. Who? Liminho <laughs> is a actor, a Korean actor. Liminho. Limijo? Limijo. Oh, okay, in what movie does he come out? Um, in City Hunter. Okay, so I imagine in... it is you like anime and all that, no? <laughs> I like anime. Oh, okay, good. K dramas. Oh, okay, good. Korean dramas. Mm -hmm. What drama? Mire, contar que no le guste Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love Harry Potter. No, no, I'm joking. I, I was waiting for the reaction. You're a mogul. Yes. You can't understand that. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, did, have you read the books? Yeah, I have read. Not all, but the last four I have read. I read the first one, and the first one was very good. Yeah, I, I, I didn't read, but I listened. The first oh. book was very good. I yeah. remember, I remember, I read the book before the movie. So really? I, yes, I read the book when um, I had one friend. He was from Nigeria, Nigeria, and he told me, "Look, this is the." best book in the world in this moment the, the hottest really harry potter yes and, I, and it was very good it was like wow and he says watch it because they will make a movie and the movie salió mucho después o sea que yo soy más fan que harry potter que tú porque <laughs> yeah but but when when the first one book was released I am, uh, I was four years old. Oh, so you're saying I am old? A little. Yeah. A little more. <laughs> you were four? Oh my God, that was, yeah, that was maybe 20 years ago. No, more. Because the first movie was on 890, on 1997, maybe. No. No, it was like in the year 2000. No. Yeah, check it out, watch. Let me check. Oh man, I thought you were a fan. <laughs> All right, okay. So remember, este el objetivo es que el would hace el verbo ia, es un suponer. Yes, porque es lo que haría si, se llama condicional. Yes. O sea, no estamos diciendo que va a pasar o no, que me gustaría. Yes. Okay. Do you have questions about what would you do? What would you eat? Uh, Carmen, say yes or no in the chat. Oh yeah, wait, she's here. All 
Oh, there she is. Carmen. <laughs> Imagine you don't know your husband. Would you re would you return with your ex boyfriend? No, I would not return. Okay, good. Yeah, nobody would return. I would return. My wife is not listening, right? Maybe I would return, but with my XX. She she was a nice person. She was a nice person. Okay, so um, the next. Bimos, I mean, going to and will. Do you remember the difference between going to and will? Is, is there a difference? Is there a big difference or a small difference? The big difference. Going to and will. What is there a big is there a difference? Uh, will is for compromisos. Okay, yeah, number one, the both the two are um the two are future, correct? Yes. Future. Okay. Yes. And will is for what it is? Compromise. Compromise. And going to is for what? Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a plan or a possibility. Now, the two are correct. Tomorrow I will eat chicken. Tomorrow I am going to eat chicken. In that in a situation, it's not very important the difference. But sometimes the difference is very important. For example, Next week, I'm going to get married, or next week, I will get married? I will get married. Yeah, now there's a big, <laughs> there's, that, that's not eating chicken. So that, that's, a, that's something important. So you said, no, I can't, because next week, I will get married. All right. Uh, do you have questions with that? No? Yes. What was that? Okay, now I am going to tell you something in the past. You tell me something in the present and maybe what will happen in the future. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll start with you, Melissa. Listen to this, listen to this. 10 years ago, no, maybe 20, 20 years ago. I was seven years. <laughs> no, but, uh, but, pero, pero me va a entender porque, listen to this. 20 years ago, Little Caesar pizza was exclusive. Yeah. Cuando, cuando vino, like, wow, nice. Nowadays, common. Now? Nowadays. Now it's a cheap, popular pizza. Uh, yes. Una pizza popular y barata, right? Yes. Yeah, cheap es barato. Uh, o sea, ahí pude haber dicho muchas cosas porque yo, pude, yo dije 20 years ago pizza uh, Little Caesars was exclusive now is la pizzería now la pizzería is exclusive hola 
What is a famous pizza? Oh, no. Exclusive. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> or I, I like got... Papa John's. <laughs> Yeah, but Papa John's is not like exclusive. In Santa Ana, maybe it will be simmered down. I think. Yeah, hay una pizzería aquí se llama la 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 pizzería. I think that one that one's bien cara. It's expensive, but it's it's exclusive. Bye. -bye. Yeah, uh, yeah, because it's like it's like this thick. I see the grass are like uh, uh -huh. full of cheese, but one pizza maybe is like thirty five dollars. La clásica. La clásica. Yes, I think it was that one. Yes, thank you, Evelyn. No, la pizza, la 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 pizzería es la clásica. The one by by Lavandema Ferrer, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That pizza is very expensive. But it's good. Gustavo. Regia, Regia, 15 years ago, it was Chalera. It was cheap. La Regia. Really? Yeah. And now, mm -hmm. right here is mm, it's cool. It's a cool. It's on the top. No, but you know, no really. Like Regia, antes solo la tomaban albañiles. Un ejemplo. Really? Yeah. Yes or no? Remember? I was like, I yo siempre tomé Regia. But now, now it's like it's more exclusive. It's more exclusive than Pilsner. And más cara que la Pilsner now, yeah. Yeah. Be now, now, now you go to an elegant bar and you see like fancy people drinking Regia. You say, "Oh, please, oh, it's even." <laughs> yeah. Because it's a trend. It's a trend, pero la vieja escuela, I, I like Regia. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are you sure you're not golden boy? Golden extra. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I go to the store and I see I see young men, you know, they, they, they're drinking in, in the tienda, right? And, and I see them drinking golden extra, my gosh. Como ese meme de la, de, el diablo viste de Prada. Que, mm. que se le queda. That, eso soy yo cuando veo a un, a un chavo tomando. Yeah, but that's me when I see a, a man drinking golden extra. Like, <laughs> like really, man? The golden extra? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Wait. let me. Um, Miguel Garcia, 20 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, Ache Bahia was the biggest, the biggest in music in El Salvador. Yes, now the... I remember that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The famous group uh, or music, kind of music is the Korean music. B TBS, something like that, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But you yes. know what? You know what? I don't like pop music. I don't like that music, but they are, they are okay, the TBS. Yes. <laughs> BTS. Yes, or BTS. <laughs> TBS, whatever, yes. Boy, a cold place on a music canción con ello. Yeah. What happened to Coldplay? Coldplay was very good oh, at the beginning. Yes. No, in the still. beginning, no. Uh, not still. No, 
in the beginning, comunidad rockera liked Coldplay. Ah, okay. Like the, the community. The, the first two albums were good. Now it's like it's like it's like uh, Marron Five. The, the first album was wow. Like next, they need to be more commercial. Yes, they are not rock anymore. Yeah, they need to be more commercial. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Giovanni, you are 40, correct? Yes. I remember you told me. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years ago, Pollo Campero was big in El Salvador. Yes. And now? Yes, I remember. And um, now is. More commercial. No, so, pero, pero recuerden de que también podría decir, y aún lo es. Hoy. Hoy nunca se va de estilo Pollo Campero. No, because I can say, man, I remember Pollo Campero 20 years ago was very big. And, you can say, and now still is very big. Yes, but I remember um, 15 years ago, uh, I I had to wait to oh, yeah. sit to sit and and enjoy it uh, for your campero. Yeah. Do you do in you the restaurant? Do the you restaurant. do you remember grilled? No, no. See, sí, el pollo rostizado, the roasted chicken in pollo campero. Yes. It was very very good. Hey, aquí le va un dato de San Miguel. San Miguel, I think, is the only place that Pollo Campero venden tortillas. In San Salvador, no, right? In San Salvador, not really? No. Yes. Oh, I think only yes. Pollo Campese. Ahora, ahora ven aquí tortillas en San Salvador. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. But that's recent, no? That's recent or always? Because I remember in San Miguel, they sell tortillas everywhere. In Pollo Campero, in Pizza Hut, in Burger King. I remember five years ago. So Even the tartaleta asks you, you want bread or you want to be? <laughs> you know, okay. Um, you know what, Gustavo? 20 years ago, you could smoke. In, in, in Pollo Campero, tenían ashtrays, um, ceniceros. People smoke and eat. Yeah. All right. I'll buy you there. Yes, I am. <laughs> what are you doing, Alba? With my daughter, she's trying to play with me. <laughs> That's... No, no, aquí, vaya, aquí, okay. That is my favorite. That is my favorite part of the day. Yes, it's the best. <laughs> my favorite part. My. My favorite part. My favorite part of the day is when I open the garage and I go in my car and I see my son in the window. Oh, and so you know, good. yeah, me trajiste chocolate, papa, or a toy. That that's my favorite part of the day. It's it's cool. So listen. Ooh. Miren, yo entiendo de que eh, este sistema es un poco rápido porque se ven temas diferentes todos los días. Yo soy más un poco vieja escuela. A mí me gusta quedarme con un solo tema hasta que la agarremos y después pasar al otro. Por ejemplo, los tiempos. Porque en una clase, especialmente de una hora, no se va a aprender uno en un tiempo. Es imposible. El simple future. Oh, okay. 
y la vamos a ver una hora y la siguiente clase, ok, vamos a ver otro, vamos a ver otro. Vemos como 30 temas y la cosa, como te dije siempre, no es tanto avan no es avanzar, es que se nos queden las cosas. Sí. Entonces, entonces ah, pero ni modo, eh, lo que yo les recomiendo mucho es quedarse en el mismo tema. A mí me hubiera encantado, por ejemplo, hacer un mes solo tres tiempos. Porque para hablar, para hablar un idioma, por lo menos, bueno, para hablar el inglés, se necesitan saber seis tiempos, por lo menos. Y son los seis tiempos básicos. O los seis tiempos simples que uno se dice. Simple future, simple past, simple present. Ya. Yeah. Al aprender a hablar bien esos, de ahí nacen todos. Les voy a dar, por ejemplo, en, en español un ejemplo. Yo como. Que es algo que hago todos los días. Yo como. Yo estoy comiendo. Es algo que estoy haciendo en este momento. Y yo voy a comer. Algo que voy a hacer en el futuro. Si me aprendo esos tres tiempos, ya los puedo mezclar. Porque si yo digo, yo estoy comiendo. Es algo que estoy haciendo ya. Y yo voy a comer. Es algo que voy a hacer. ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué sería? Yo voy a estar comiendo. Se llamará. I will be eating. Exactly. Porque mezclamos el, el de hoy y el de we mix. I will be eating. Y se llama un futuro continuo. Entonces, cuando ustedes puedan, ¿cómo se llama? Estudiar en su tiempo libre, les recomiendo eso. Estudian los tiempos simples. ¿Y cómo lo van a estudiar? Aprenden a hacer preguntas y respuestas. Por ejemplo, y otra cosa. Eh, ah, ¿Te acuerdas una vez que les dije el inglés no es una materia normal? Porque para mí el inglés nunca se estudia, el inglés se aprende. Y la única forma de aprender algo es ponerlo en práctica. Yes. Eh, so, y porque la, el inglés es una acción, es speak. ¿Se acuerdan cuando les, les enseñé la diferencia de talk y speak? Y si se ponen a pensar todo lo que es acción, se aprende, no se estudia. Sí, o sea, es importante estudiar las cosas básicas, pero, por ejemplo, ustedes no estudiaron a manejar. Ustedes aprendieron a manejar. Ustedes no estudiaron a nadar a cocinar, todas esas cosas las aprendieron. Entonces no estudiaron a hablar, aprendieron a hablar. Y a veces entiendo porque mucha gente ah, toma notas, voy a estudiar. Y mucha gente dice que está diciendo, estoy estudiando inglés, estoy estudiando inglés. No, man, no lo estudien, aprendanlo. Y la única forma que lo van a aprender es Es como la única forma que van a aprender a nadar es tirándose a la piscina. Batalear, ¿verdad? Que eso no, alguien nos va a sacar siempre. <ríe> so don't worry. Ok, entonces eso sí les siempre les recomiendo en el futuro. Hagan preguntas o lo más que a todo teacher le gusta oír es, teacher no entiendo. Y es bien chivo cuando alguien dice eso, ¿saben por qué? Porque cuando se estudia inglés en una clase, todos hasta cierto punto tienen que estar igual. O así. Pero no así. Porque eso desnivela mucho una clase. Porque está el que no entiende y el que está el que entiende muy bien. O a veces está uno que entiende muy bien que debería estar en un nivel más alto. Pero... La cosa es de que si no hablan, si no preguntan, es bien difícil, o sea, es bien difícil pues porque 
va a seguir avanzando la clase, va a seguir avanzando la clase y ustedes no entendieron eso, pero nunca preguntaron. Entonces sí les recomiendo mucho eso, siempre no tengan pena en hacer preguntas. Ok. Thank you, mister. All right. Then, um, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. This is the last class? I think, yes. This is oh, class number 16. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, es que a veces cuando me escriben solo me cae el número y a veces no sé quién es pero si algún día necesitan ayuda en algo díganme, les prometo que lo voy a ver de una, de una forma u otra, pero si me lo mandan como privado porque a veces cuando me logran me, tengo como tres chats de la clase, está el de la clase el de inglés corporativo y a veces en la mañana veo mi mi WhatsApp hasta el mediodía y hay 80 mensajes y, uf, y leer uno por uno no tengo tiempo, pero si me lo mandan en directo es más fácil. Um, cuando les cueste algo o están viendo algún tema o tengan alguna pregunta, por favor no duden. Yo con gusto les ayudo. ¿Puede que me tarde en responder? Sí. Hasta el otro año sería entonces. You be in the next module? I don't know. I don't know. Porque creo que voy a estar en, en, en uno avanzado, I think. ¿Ah? What? Pero el avanzado es más, como profesor, es más fácil, pero a la vez es más, ¿cómo se dice? Challenging. Challenge. Un reto. Retador, retador. Sí, es un reto, porque fíjense que el inglés, y así es la vida también. Si ustedes no pueden manejar y van a una escuela y pagan 30 clases de manejo, ustedes quizás a la quinta ya pueden manejar. Hoy aprendieron. Como son 30 horas, significa que tienen 25 horas más de hacer lo mismo. Como, entonces... El proceso de ahí ya es un poco más lento. Las primeras cinco clases fueron súper chivas porque todo era nuevo. Pero ya cuando lo aprenden, como, ¿y hoy qué vamos a hacer? ¿Le vamos a la vuelta de aquí, vamos a ir hasta allá. Otra vez, sí. Otra vez, sí. Así es el inglés también porque hay gente de que ya puede hablar muy, muy bien. Hay gente que ya puede hablar muy, muy bien, pero hasta a veces se hace un poco aburrida porque solo es de conversar, entonces a mí me gusta joderlos no, y ahí donde les explico, ok, por favor eh, una cosa y como hacía con nosotros <risas> no, 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 pero por ejemplo yo les digo, una cosa que he aprendido y eso sí en la vida siempre, las personas les gusta hablar de cosas que saben y cosas que les gustan Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo tengo un chef, le digo, hey, enséñame a hacer lasaña. ¿Cómo haría usted lasaña? Ah, es fácil uno poner hervir el agua, ya cuando está a cierto punto, pone la pasta, deja que quede un poco tierno. Todas esas cosas, decírmelo en inglés, es un poco más difícil porque se quedan. Uh, ahí, ahí es donde ponen en práctica ciertas palabras, porque, hey, ¿cómo se dice...? Tal cosa. Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando digo, ¿cómo se hace una pupusa? Todos me dicen. Pues, yo digo, pero imagínense si yo soy de la China, yo no sé qué es una pupusa, explíquenme qué es. Y ahí es donde los trago. <risa> ah, se agarra la masa, oh, you get the dough, y se pone que se, esa, esa acción se llama stuff. Stuff, pork, cheese, and beans. Okay. Make a ball. Va a ser una pelota, ¿no? Y palmearlo. Palm it. And put on the grill. Yo me, ah, okay. Muy diferente a decir. 
y ahí es donde uno pone la práctica porque empieza a usar más vocabulario y, y así es chivo fíjense cuando, cuando están aprendiendo algo ya cuando se les está haciendo fácil el inglés como ah ya no aprendí nada ya no aprendo nada alégrense cuando lleguen a ese punto porque ya ya aprendieron lo que hay que aprender y hoy solo es practicarlo ok so thank you very much class have a happy holidays ok Thank you. You Thank too. You. Call me or WhatsApp me. Everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Barça is the best. Real Madrid. La isla.